Hi everybody and welcome back to Ray Ray Hunting. In this episode I'm going to be doing some pellet testing with the Falcon Prairie BM in 2.2 calibre at 30 yards. So a little bit about this rifle, um, I believe that Air Arms bought out Falcon back in 2005 um, for some unknown reason, I, I don't really know why but I just know they bought them out in 2005 and they stopped the production um, uh, maybe I don't know it might have been 2005 or a few years later and this model was one of the later ones I believe that um, Air Arms might have manufactured as I think that the original Falcon range was only the FN range um, the FN 8, 12 and 19 I think they made um, all great rifles this is the light hunter version obviously with the light hunter stock which makes it super light I think it's about probably five pounds if that which means you can probably carry it around all day shooting with it to be honest. I bought this rifle second hand uh, off Gun Trader. I think it was about 450 quid. I think um, it didn't come with a quick fill, so I had to buy a quick fill from Best Fittings for it, which is basically just twist in there, fill it up, and obviously twist back. Um, it did come, however, though, with the, the Falcon silencer. It does look a lot like a Q-Tech silencer or an Air Arm silencer. Um, to be fair, but apart from it's instead of got a female half, U, uh, half inch UNF, it's a male half inch UNF. Um, it come with one magazine. The magazine is an eight shot magazine that I don't particularly like the magazine system because it kept jamming. Um, it's a bit pellet fussy to be honest. Um, it felt a bit obviously when you were cocking the rifle a bit, a bit clunky as well. So what I've done recently is I've bought a, um, a 3D printed single shot loader and that just slides in basically where the magazine goes. I'll just show you how to do that now. So it just comes back and slides in. And goes forward again. And that's it really. And then you just obviously drop your pellets in. So the rifle comes with a full length barrel shroud as well, which is quite cool. Um, and a silencer, which pretty much, you know, reduces the, the bark of um, the, 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 the rifle. Because the old um, the old NF range um, used to get a little like a little quick fill um, silencer. It was about that big, I think. Um, it didn't really do much of a great job of, of hushing the bark down on it. But um, this this you know this system seems to be a really good um, a good approach to quieting it down, especially when you've got the, the silencer added onto it at the end as well. The uh, charge is I've charged this up to 190 bar. Um, I've been roughly getting about 60 consistent shots to 70 consistent shots out of it. Um, it does have a fill gauge on the end which is pretty cool as well. Um, this obviously shows you what, what your level you're at. Um, the only thing is it is on the end of the rifle so you do have to be careful when you are looking at it. You don't want to be pointing the, the silencer anywhere near your face to you at the same time. So a little bit about the trigger. The trigger's two stage, very nice and crisp. Um, the trigger blade uh, reminds me of a lot of the, um, the old Logan Mark I triggers. Um, quite just a flat blade with a little curve in it but it is two stage and it is very nice and crisp very predominant obviously you can feel that when you get to that second stage as well right so I've got four lots of different pellets to test all at 30 meters um, I've got some JSBs some field and target trophies some Falcon Accuracy Plus and some H&N uh, Barracuda 15s so we're going to see which one groups the best at 30 meters so let's give it a go so let's um, try the first lot of pellets that's uh, JSB exact. I was putting um, the single shot tray, just slides in there. It's been 3D printed, this one. Just slides in like that. That's it, really done. Um, so it's the exact jumbos when we're trying first. This is on the top left hand um, target. This gun's actually already zeroed into to 30 yards, so it should be quite accurate on this. Let's let's see how we do. Yeah, it's a bit fiddly to get the pellets in. To be fair. So that's the first one in. We're gonna have five shots at each target. Bad start.
So that's not a bad first group for the um, JSBs. So these next ones are the Field and Target Trophy H&M. These are slightly lighter than the JSBs. The JSBs are weighing in at 13.89 grains and these are 14.66 grains. So I'll have five shots of these and let's see what kind of group we get. So that's not a bad group again, but um, there's always work, you know, room for improvement on that. So let's try the next ones. So the next ones are the um, Falcon Accuracy Plus. These ones are even lighter than the uh, Film Target Trophies. These ones are weighing in at 13.43 grains. So I'll have five shots for these and we'll see how we get on with these. Now, these ones are quite fiddly to load into the, the single shot um, tray because it's quite small. And I've had a couple of, um, couple of jams in it so I'm just gonna lift the gun up and there we go that one's gone straight in there we go so that's gone high as expected because I've got the lighter pellet Group. So it's a little bit high. So two more shots for it. One last shot this one. Not bad, but not great, that one. Right then, and the last parts I'm gonna be trying are the Barracuda 15s. These are the same weight as the JSBs, so might surely sometimes maybe get the same group, but let's see. Just give me a little helping hand in. This is the bottom left target, this one. It's not bad. Thank you. 
This might be me though. And the ball. There's me banging on about how fiddly the bloody magazine system is. Then single shot trade on the better. I think that one could be the best group of them all, to be fair. Let's go and see. Right, so that's all the pellet testing done now. I'm going to get the target and we'll have a look at what it's done. Right, so here's the results. Not too bad, I suppose. I mean, JSBs, feeling targets, the Falcon Accuracy Plus, that's not too bad, it's got a little flyer there. Barracudas again. So it's not too bad at all. I suppose I've got quite a few of them in, in, um, within the five pence piece at 30 metres. I'm quite happy to obviously about that as well. It's not too bad groups to save the age of the rifle as well. And then I actually found some um, Day State Range Master Sovereigns and I've just done that as well. That's quite acceptable as well, I reckon. So that's obviously five different pellet types at 30 metres through the Falcon. So my conclusion is really, it's a great looking gun for its age. And it, it, like I said, it's quite accurate. Well, it is accurate to be fair. Out to about 30 metres, probably even 40. I ought to do a 40 yard test with it actually. Um, I would use this, well, I basically use this for walking around the farmyard and um, doing a bit of feral pigeon shooting and things like that. It's nice and light to carry about. Probably even good for stalking or if you're sitting in a hide doing some squirrel shooting. Um, just on another note, I forgot to say about the scope. The scope I use is a standard scope that I use in every gun is me. Um, Nikko Panamax 4.5 by 14 by 50s. That's just there. And then obviously that's sports match mounts on top of that. So if you're after um, a little gun for stalking, if you can pick one of these up, I think I paid about 450 quid for this. Um, you can't go wrong with them really. As long as, long as it's been well looked after, no one's had to play around with it. Um, I definitely recommend it. Right guys, that's about it really. Um, thank you for watching my little pellet test video on the Falcon Prairie BM in 2.2 calibre. Uh, if you like this, please like, subscribe and share. Um, if you want to see me push it out to 40 metres and, and do a bit of pellet testing with that, or if you can think of any other pellets you want me to test through it, um, just let me know in the comments below. And I'm going to try and do one on the um, BSA R10 next, I think. I've got... Uh, one of them in 2.2 calibre to try and in 177 calibre to try as well so we could do a bit of a shoot off against both of them um, to see which pellets you know which pellets they like best as well out at 30 metres but like I said guys thanks again and uh, I'll see you next time